Ever wondered why emotional scars can feel just as painful as physical ones? It's not just in your head, it's in your brain. Emotional abuse rewires your brain in ways you might not expect. What exactly happens in your brain when you experience emotional abuse? Let's break it down. Let's start with the brain's stress response. When you're exposed to emotional abuse, whether it's through manipulation, humiliation, or constant criticism, your brain is triggered into a state of chronic stress. The amygdala, which is the brain's fear center, becomes overactive. This part of the brain is responsible for detecting threats, and in cases of emotional abuse, it's constantly on high alert. This ongoing stress leads to an increase in cortisol, the stress hormone. Over time, this can cause wear and tear on your body and mind, keeping you in a state of constant anxiety and fear. This chronic stress state is exhausting, and it's why victims of emotional abuse often feel worn out and overwhelmed. Next, look at the hippocampus, the part of your brain responsible for memory and learning. When you're under constant stress, cortisol, yes, that stress hormone, starts to damage this area. Over time, the hippocampus can shrink, making it harder to form new memories or remember things clearly. This isn't just a metaphor, studies show that prolonged exposure to stress hormones like cortisol can cause physical changes in this area. This might explain why people who've experienced long-term emotional abuse often struggle with memory issues. Then there's the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for decision-making, reasoning, and self-control. Emotional abuse can weaken this area, making it harder for you to think clearly or make decisions, this is why survivors of emotional abuse might find themselves doubting their own decisions, second-guessing everything, or feeling overwhelmed by even simple choices. The brain's ability to process information and make sound decisions becomes compromised. Emotional abuse doesn't just affect how you think, it impacts how you feel. Emotional dysregulation, where it's hard to manage your emotions, is common. This happens because neurotransmitters, the brain's chemical messengers, get thrown out of balance. This imbalance can lead to anxiety, depression, and other emotional challenges. It's not that the person is too sensitive, their brain chemistry has been altered. Now, there's something called the default mode network, or DMN. This network is active when your brain is at rest, when you're not focused on the outside world and your mind is wandering. Emotional abuse can cause the DMN to become hyperactive, leading to persistent negative self-reflection, rumination, and feelings of worthlessness. This means that even when you're not actively thinking about the abuse, your brain might be stuck in a loop of negative thoughts and self-criticism, which can make it difficult to escape the emotional pain. Emotional abuse can also impair areas of the brain involved in social and emotional cognition, specifically, your ability to understand and respond to the emotions of others. The brain regions responsible for empathy and social connection can be affected, leading to difficulties in forming healthy relationships. This is why people who've experienced emotional abuse may find it hard to trust others. Struggle with empathy, or feel disconnected in social situations. The trauma disrupts the brain's natural ability to connect with others on an emotional level. Now, let's talk about the long-term impact. Emotional abuse can lead to persistent changes in the brain, increasing the risk of developing mental health disorders like PTSD, anxiety, and depression. But here's the hopeful part, your brain has an incredible ability to heal itself, a concept known as neuroplasticity. With the right support, therapy, and self-care, it's possible to recover from these changes. Your brain can form new connections, and you can regain control over your mental and emotional well-being. To wrap things up, emotional abuse doesn't just leave emotional scars, it changes your brain in profound ways. But by understanding these changes, you can take steps to heal and recover. If you or someone you know is experiencing emotional abuse, remember that you're not alone and that help is available. Please share this video, seek support, and take care of your mental health.